took off to head to North Carolina. And this is our view this morning. We made it to North Carolina. Daisy's had her lunch and she's got a full tummy so she's taking a nap. Kevin's been driving all day. Wow. <laughs> Looks like the ocean. It does. But it's a river. Continue on South Indian Town Road. It's pretty. It's better than someone else's yard. Yep, I was just going to say <laughs> <laughs> they make a mess. They're beautiful. We're having, what is that, Pete? PDS, PTSD. <laughs> yeah. They're beautiful than someone else's yard. <laughs> Look at that old farmhouse. Yeah, it's had a bad day. Bad day. Good luck on Garrington Island Road. One-and-a-half miles, arrive at 256 Carrington Island Road, Chilbrow, North Carolina, 27973, on the left. And this is in the boonies. In one quarter mile, arrive at 256 Carrington Island Road, Chilbrow, North Carolina, 27973, on the left. Are following this guy? Yeah. And these roads are not very wide at all. Can you 
see up that corner. Give me a... You're going to clear it. I'm worried about it's going to be off. I don't want to be too far over so I can't be right around that obstacle back there. This is pretty. Ocean is angry today. This is the Outer Banks in North Carolina. Looks like we're gonna get a storm. Not a lot of people out. Just got done having dinner at Coin Jock. Coin Jock. It's a famous little restaurant that a lot of the sailboat folks, boaters in general, boaters, yeah, come and dine at. And we actually heard about it through one of the YouTube people that we follow. What's the uh, name? Actually, two of them. Um, Trying not to sink and Tula's uh, endless summer. Yeah. Here's my yacht. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is stepping up to Lorena's level now. <laughs> That's beautiful. So, it's almost a black color, but it's not. It's like deep navy. Yep, checkers. That's the name of the boat? Yep. Here's Kevin's boat. This is the back end view of it. It's called Footloose. There's a restaurant we just ate at. Kevin had the prime rib and I had the portobello mushrooms, stuffed mushrooms. Ravioli. Raviolis. Right, stuffed ravioli mushroom. Right? Portobello ravioli. Port whatever. Ravioli. <laughs> you <laughs> we know. can't say it. When we didn't have anything to drink either. <laughs> wow, this thing just keeps going. I'm always making Kevin pull over. This is Indian Town shipyard. Look at this water, will you? I don't want to get too close. I'm afraid there may be an alligator or a crocodile. That is so eerie.
We just got done at dinner and it's still raining here. We just missed <laughs> a big huge part of the town being underwater. What? I'm just gonna look and see what it was loaded was in. We had to run a red light because the water was really high. <laughs> we didn't want to sit there while the water was still coming up. Uh, that a lot was, of water. That was scary to be honest. It wasn't that, wasn't that high. It's pretty high. We only floated a couple of times. My, my key, key fob says Jeep on it, so we're okay. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> like in their front yard. Yeah. Like I said, it probably gets like that every time it rains on it. Yeah, no. The Thank ground you. is really saturated here. Well, look at the road. Look at the road in front of it. It's underwater. Is the road closed? I don't know. He's not a policeman, so. He's on the know. phone. He must have had broke down, so he's calling somebody. In 2.6 miles, turn Better left onto Potter Road. I think you cared. I was trying to help him out because that corner is underwater. I was talking about right there. Yeah. It's already coming up on 
street. Mm, pond is high. <laughs> Deer. Look. What? Look at the water. Yeah. Are we going to be okay? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little. It didn't rain where we were at. <laughs> I tell you what. How's the road coming in? It's terrible. Is it flooded? A lot of it is. Yeah. Kevin's outside talking to the neighbor. <laughs> but um, we just got in. That was scary to me. <laughs> And I was telling Kevin earlier today that I had a dream last night that we were trapped between the pond, which is in front of us, and the creek that's behind us, and we couldn't get out. And then we were having all this rain. It's kind of freaking me out. I have like a sixth sense of, for things like this <laughs> crap. So this is kind of making me nervous. But... um there was just a motorhome that drove in just a few minutes ago. I cannot believe that they drove in this rain and went through the water that we went through in a motorhome. That would be a big fat no for me. I'm going to flip this around. Let me open. Let's see here. Oh, the generator's off. Is the generator off, dear? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Yeah, the electricity's on. I was telling everybody about my dream last night. What was your dream? Remember? I said that we were trapped oh. between the pond and the <laughs> creek. It's so funny. <laughs> and you were saying, what, Florida? What were you telling me? Yeah, I was telling, we were saying to get out of here, and I was saying, Florida, Florida, to get out of here. Get well, through the water passes. Great. <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> Let's go see how. Pond is getting full. Now oh, that water's just draining in there. Do you hear the frogs? Oh, they're going to be loud tonight. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, yeah, I'll have to come out tonight. It's not pouring down rain. So y'all can hear the frogs. They, like, echo all around.